Well, if like me, you have a son and a daughter, would you like your daughter to be paid less than your son? Before we go on, I would like to ask you two questions. First question, who in her job had the impression that she was paid less than her male colleague? Please raise your hand. Hmm. Quite a few hands. I don't have my glasses, but it seems to be there are quite a few hands. Now, second question. Who has done something about it? Who has talked to her company? Less hands. A few hands, carriages, people, but a few hands. It's a difficult question. Well, the gender pay gap is still a reality in Switzerland and around the world. In Switzerland, it amounts to 18.9%. In the European communi community, it is 16.4. And the USA, it's 22%. 22%, huh? Well, you know, many companies, um, on one hand, you have that number. Women are, on average, paid 20% less than men. On the other hand, Many companies claim they do pay men and women the same. In absence of hard facts, because, of course, usually salary are difficult to talk about, are not talked about, who are you going to uh, believe? Therefore, the need for a tool for companies, for companies to walk the talk. Equal salary is my third entrepreneur, entrepreneurial venture. It has made also, it has made, has made me a social entrepreneur. I started off with Dra de Coeur, a uh, um, design and uh, production deluxe baby bed linen. I sold the company in 1997. 1997. Microsoft Office 97, do you remember? <laughs> First time with PowerPoint, a revolution at the time. I decided to join forces with my husband, who had his own communication agency. And we decided to develop a corporate presentation for middle, mid-sized and large companies. Among them, Heineken, a tailor-made uh, presentation. We made Heineken presentation, corporate presentation in seven languages, Greek included. Quite a challenge, actually. In 2003, I studied an executive MBA program, and we had to do a paper uh, to, that was linked with professional life. At the time, I had realized, you know, there was this, this problem that the, 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 the gender pay gap had no solution, had not been a so, uh, solution. And one of the, the, the difficult aspects of that, that the burden was left on women's shoulders. And the, so the, the, the cause of the problem was not addressed. Therefore, this idea of equal salary. I wanted to develop a process that would bring objectivity to this double sensitive issue that is equal pay and make equal pay just like any other business matter. Make it mainstream. In order to do that, I needed to have strong, credible partners. To start with, I needed a tool to uh, analyze salary data. I approached the University of Geneva. The federal court 
had just retained its expertise in a case for salary discrimination. The second uh, uh, partnership, I looked for, I needed certification body, I needed certification expertise. SGS was the first to react. SGS is the world leader in certification and inspection. To me, it was the, a very strong signal from the market. And the third pillar was um, finding fundings. I realized very quickly that I, I needed to have neutral funding. Having submitted this idea to the Federal Office of Gender Equality, I received um, the financial support. So there we were. We were three partners, strong. And I was confronted with this big idea, this huge idea. To me, it looks like, you know, it was so important. On the other hand, I was afraid. I had no expertise in certification. Equality was just, you know, a concept for me. Um, it looked to me like climbing the Himalayas. I had never been to the Himalayas. <laughs> I'm a Swiss miss, you know. I was born in the mountains. I'm from the Valley de Jour and the Jura. I know mountains. And, um, you know, I was toying with this idea. And, you know, the difficult thing is really fighting against yourself. You know, how am I going to make it? And even some people, you know, helped me believe it was impossible. I remember that, I remember that expert, quality management expert, when I asked him when you create a norm, he said, you know, you just take the norm, you implement it step by step, you just do it. And I said, no, no, I mean, create it. And he said, madam, this will never happen. <laughs> So there I am, thinking about it. But then, you know, as I said, I knew mountains. So I decided I would just, you know, do it as I go in the Jura. Take one step at the, at the time until I got to the top and as long as nothing stopped me. So, also, during the... We were ready, we were starting to develop. I talked to the press. We got companies starting to show interest. Um, so by the time we were ready to launch a test phase, we picked seven companies who had uh, shown interest. Also, at the same time, in 2009, realizing that President Obama had been very much held by Facebook for, in his election, I decided it would be good for equal salary too. That's when I started to open a page for, face, for equal salary on Facebook. We... Um, at the end, actually, what I've done, actually, you wonder, what is equal salary? Well, equal salary is a certification, so company can check and communicate about the salary policy, that they pay men and women the same. It is a practical tool that brings transparency while preserving confidentiality. Now you may wonder why a company would do such a thing. Why would they you know, communicate about equal pay? Well, you know, to start with, think about employers' branding. Attract and retain, and show that you walk the talk in your, with your CSR program. It's about, also about motivation. A fair company motivates people, and motivated people means better business. And thirdly, risk, assessing risk. Financial risk for salary, wage, uh, disc salary discrimination uh, and also for loss of image. Well, where are we now today? Well, today it's 10 years later. This year is the 10th uh, year after of launching the idea. It's the fifth year of the foundation. We have been retained by the, in the, in the report of the European community because we are the only uh, we were the first and only certification that focuses on equal pay. I forget, I forget, I forget. This is a testimonial of a company. But also, where are we today? Tonight I'm going to give uh, uh, an award to the first company in the Swiss German part. 
the ECHO will receive its uh, label tonight. But also, I would like to, as a premier, as a mondial, premier mondial, I would like also to announce that the first multinational has been certified. In one month, we will uh, hand it over. And this is Philip Morris. And uh, they would like to make it European, and they would like also to go worldwide. So this is quite a breakthrough for our 10th anniversary. <laughs> A lot of people have been talking about um, equal pay. Recently, the Pope said that the gender pay gap is a pure scandal. And I would like also to watch a small video who has been advocating Patricia Arquette at the last Oscar ceremony. I would like to watch that because this is very inspiring. Org. To every woman who gave birth, to every taxpayer and citizen of this nation, we have fought for everybody else's equal rights. It's our time to have wage equality once and for all, and equal rights for women in the United States of America. So, join the movement. You know, ask for equal pay to your company, talk to HR, talk to your CEOs, talk to your boards. But above all, you know, be courageous. Don't be afraid to be unpopular. You are colorful. You, are, you need to be visible. Stand up for yourself. Stand up for everybody. Stand up for equal pay and make noise. <laughs> yeah.